This is how you can make a message leaderboard command and system using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'm going to quickly say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can get a god tier on discord or a super or god tier on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. These are pre-coded bot packages based on a specific topic by me. The features list will be in their description if you're interested in that as well. Again, if you're interested in any of this at all, all of the links for this will be in the description below and with that let's go ahead and get in the code so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go over to schemas we're going to go ahead and create message leaderboard.js now if you do not have schema set up go ahead and watch the mongodb guide in the description below you are going to go ahead and set up the schema for this and mongodb guide so you're going to need message schema you're going to need a guild string a user string and a messages as number just go ahead and save that as message schema after you do that we can actually go over to events and we're going to go ahead and create message leaderboard event.js and in here we're going to go ahead and do const lb equals require and we're going to go ahead and do dot dot slash schemas and we're going to get our message leaderboard then we can go ahead and do module.exports we're going to open this up we're going to get our name which is going to be message create we can do async executes we're going to get our message and we can also get our client and we can open this up we're going to say if message.author.bot and we can just go ahead and return and do nothing then we can say var data equals await lb.find one we're going to get our guild which can be our message.guild.id and we're going to get our user which is going to be our message.author.id then we can go ahead and say if no data we can open this up we're going to do lb.create and we can get our guild which is going to be our message.guild.id we can get our user which is going to be our message.author.id and we're going to get our messages which is going to be set to one so now that we've created the schema we can also go ahead and say else and we're going to do var updated messages equals data dot messages plus one and we can do await lb dot delete one and we're going to go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild dot id and we can get our user which is going to be our message dot author dot id just like above then we can go ahead and recreate it with the updated count so we can do await lb dot create we're going to get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild dot id get our user which is going to be our message dot author dot id we get our messages which is going to be our updated message variable so what we're doing here is every time the user sends a message within a specific specific guild. We're going to go ahead and check to see if there's no data for that user, meaning no message data at all. And if so, we're going to go ahead and create the schema and we're going to save one message. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and update the message. So we're going to get the schema messages. We're going to add one message to it because it is a new message. Then we're going to go ahead and delete their current data and recreate it using their updated message variable. So after we do that, we can go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create the commands for this. So we can go ahead and create msgleaderboard.js. Yes. And here we're going to get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder. And we can do equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do const lb equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get our schema. So we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash. And we can go ahead and get our schema slash message leaderboard. And then we can do module.exports. We can open this up. We're going to get our data this time, which is going to be our new slash command builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a name for me. This is going to be message leaderboard. Then we can go ahead and set a description. We're going to go ahead and say message leaderboard. Nobody's going to see that, so it doesn't matter what you put. Then we're going to go ahead and create two sub commands. The first sub command is going to be a user. It's going to go ahead and set a description, and it's going to say a specific user's messages plus leaderboard standing we're going to go ahead and add a user option which is going to be the name of user and we're going to set a description that says the user to check and we're going to set required to true so the first sub command is going to be a user standing so it's going to get the user's current messages as well as their current standing with the leaderboard then we can go ahead and create another sub command so it's going to be the total and it's going to be the total message leaderboard out of 10 uh, so it's going to be like the entire server and not just one user. Then we can do async executes. We can go in and get our interaction and we can open this up. We're going to start off by getting our options and we can set that equal to our interaction. We can do const sub equals options to get sub command. And we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command. We can get our case, which is going to be user, and we can go ahead and open this up. We have to create the functions within the switch statement because we need to use these functions throughout all of the code. So we're just going to go ahead and create them here. 
Um, so we're going to do async function. We can do total and we can open this up. We're going to say var data equals await lb.find. This is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. Then we can do var standings equals an empty array and we can do await data for each. We can get our async d and we can open this up. I'm going to do standings.push and we can open this up as well. We're going to get our user, which is going to be d.user. We're going to get our messages, which is going to be d.messages. So we're basically creating an object within the array that has user as well as their messages so that's going to filter every user into the array with their current messages then we can just go ahead and return the standings because we're going to handle the standings array outside of this function next we're going to go ahead and create another function so we can do async function we can do lb user and we can get our user as a parameter in here we're going to get var data equals await lb.find and we can go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our interaction.guild.id and we can say if and we can do no data then we can just return and we can say no data found and then we can say if user we can open this up we're to do var standings equals await total so we're going to be using the total function we just created up here to get the array of standings we're going to set that to a new standings variable right here then we can do standings sorts we're going to go ahead and do a comma b and we can do an arrow function we're going to do b dot messages minus a dot messages just like that so basically what that is going to do is it's going to sort the messages from greatest to least within the array. So we're basically setting up our leaderboard function here. Then we're going to go ahead and return standings and we can do dot find index this is going to be item and we can do arrow function item dot user equals 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 user and we do plus one. Now the reason is the first value in the array is going to be zero. So let's just go ahead and make an array. We have one, two, three, and four, I guess we can do. So what this is going to be is one is going to be zero, two is going to be one, three is going to be two, and four is going to be three. So obviously that's a problem because it's not going to be the updated leaderboard as it is. So we just add one so that zero will be be one, one will be two, two will be three, and three will be four, so it will be updated with the actual number that it is within the array. All right, so now that we have our leaderboard function and our total function, we're good to actually continue with the subcommands. So we can do const user equals options to get user, it's going to be user. Then we can do const data equals await lb.find1, and we're going to get our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. We get our user, which is going to be our user.id. Then we can go ahead and say if no data, we can go ahead and return await interaction.reply, and we're going to go ahead and say contents and we can go ahead and get an emoji here i'm just going to go ahead and say it looks like you have zero message history logged with this bot and i'm saying this bot because they might still have message history within the server but the bot might not have tracked it and we're also going to set informal to true we can say else we're opening this up here we can say var t equals await total and then we can do dot then and we can do async data arrow function and we can do return data dot length so basically we're calling our total function that we created up here so we're going to get the array with the standings that has all of the user objects and then we're going to go ahead and return the data.length so that's getting the total amount of users within the array then we can go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder and we're going to go ahead and create a number of different things in here the first one is we're going to set the color to blurple we're going to set the title to interaction.user.usernames message standings we're going to set the fields to name which is going to be total messages the value is going to be backslash tick data.messages we're going to set another field which is going to be name leaderboard standing value we're going to do backslash tick we're going to do a hashtag so we're going to get the number and we can open this up we're going to do await lb user so we're calling the lb user function which is leaderboard user and we're going to pass in the parameter of the interaction.user.id and actually i believe we're going to use our user.id because we're going to use the user variable here then we're going to go ahead and add a timestamp and we can go ahead and do await interaction.reply and we can get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set infernal to true. So after we do that we're going to go ahead and come down here we can go ahead and break and we're going to go ahead and get our case which is going to be total and we can open this up here. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get another data variable. I know it's kind of a lot but we can do const data2 equals await lb.find1. It's going to be our guild which is going to be our interaction.guild that I D. Next, we can do if no data to, we can go ahead and return await interaction to our apply. 
and we can actually go ahead and get the same value that we had above which is going to be it looks like you have zero message history logged with the bot because it's basically checking for the exact same thing then we're going to go ahead and say else we do var leaderboard equals await total so we're going to call that total function we do leaderboard dot sorts we can do a comma b we can open this up with an arrow function we can do b dot messages minus a dot messages so the exact same thing we did above uh, for the leaderboard function but this time we're just going to go ahead and do it uh, below then we can go ahead and do var output equals leaderboard dot slice and we can go ahead and do zero and we can also do 10 so we're sorting the messages from least to greatest and then we're going to go ahead and slice the first 10 values of that array so it's leaderboard one through 10 then we're going to go ahead and do var string and we can do var num equals one then we can do a weight output dot for each we're going to do async value and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do const member equals await interaction and guild dot members dot cash dot gets and we're going to get to value dot user which is going to be the user id then after we do that we can do a string and we can do plus equals and we can open this up i'm going to do hashtag and we can open this up as num and i'm going to go ahead and do a member and we can do a colon i'm going to bold this and we can do interaction dot user dot username and i'm going to finish that bolding and we can do comma, we can do messages, we can do backslash tick, and we can do value.messages. We can do backslash tick, and we're going to do a backslash in and there as well. That way, we can actually space that out. And one thing is it's not going to be the interaction.user.username. It's going to be our member variable right here. So it's going to be member.user.username in here. So after we do that, we have to update our num variable. So we can do num plus plus just like that. So because the value output has 10 values within that array, this is going to run 10 times. And every time it does that, it's going to update the number so that we get an accurate count of what number each user actually is within that embed. Now we could do string equals string dot replace, and we can go ahead and do undefined and we can do comma and we're going to replace that with nothing. I'm doing this because my logic here puts an undefined in there and I'm just going to take it out. Then we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And I'm going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be a blurple. And we're going to go ahead and set two things. We're setting a title and a description. The title is going to be interaction.guild.name. And we can do message leaderboard at 1 through 10. The description is just going to be our string variable. So after you do all of that, we are actually finished with this entire message leaderboard system. This is technically a message log system too, because we have our user command, which gives you the user standings within the guild as well as their individual messages. But yeah. All right. So the last thing I forgot to do is right before this embed, we actually have to send it. So we can do away interaction our apply. We're going to get our embeds and our embed. We're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true, just like that. I did forget to do that, but yeah. All right. So now we are actually good. We can save all the files, restart the bot and test this out. All right. So over in the discord server, we can go ahead and actually test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and run both of our commands. We can run them at the exact same time. And I'm going to get me as the user. As you can see, both of them return zero message history as logged because we just turned this on and nothing has been logged yet. So now let's go ahead and log one message on this account. And we can go ahead and run these again at the exact same time. So that was our leaderboard. This is going to be the individual. As you can see on the leaderboard, we have one member, which is me in first place with one message logged. And on the individual, we have one message logged. And for the leaderboard standing, I am number one out of one. And out of is like out of everybody who has their message logs. So now let's go ahead and do three, four, and five. And we can run both of these commands again. We'll get the total and we can also get the user. That's going to be me. As you can see, now we have five messages logged in both places. I'm still one of one on the leaderboard because I've not yet had anybody else send messages. All right, so now on a different account here, let's go ahead and send some other messages. So I'm going to send one message and we're going to go ahead and run both of these commands again. This time, I'm going to go ahead and get me as the user user on this specific account. So as you can see on the leaderboard, we have two members, one and two in the correct order. We have five messages logged for my main and one message logged on this account. Then for the message standings, we have one total messages. And for this account, we are number two of two on the leaderboard, which makes sense because there's two people on the leaderboard and I am in second place. So let's go ahead and send two, three, four, five, and we can do six. 
And this time, let's go ahead and send both of these commands again. We can do message leaderboard, we can get user, and we can also get me. And as you can see this time, it's the updated message leaderboard. Um, now this account is in first place with six, and this is with five. And now the leaderboard standing is one of two. So let's just go ahead and run one more command. This time we're going to go ahead and get this account, so the second place account. And as you can see, now this is updated to two of two on the leaderboard. So that is updated and working exactly how it should. One thing I should point out is the leaderboard is only going to show 10 people, so it's going to be like the top 10 within the server. But the user can always use the individual if they'd like to see their individualized standings within the entire guild right here because this number is not actually capped at all. Alright, so that's how you can make an advanced message logging and message leaderboard system using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.